which is what we call JSON. 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 I want to talk about JSON. The meaning of JSON means JavaScript. JavaScript object notation. This is the X, this is J object notation. Now, what you know about objects in the previous videos are actually the same thing. But the only thing that is different for JSON is that for JSON now we have a stringified object. Like, you know that sometimes since you are dealing with the drag and drop interface, it might be difficult to deal with these objects and to actually work with them. But when you get them as a string, it's easier for you because the, the interface or the program or the system will not see it as a to just it as a string like just writing a character so just like when you have let's say you have let's say you have for example you have object like let me say you have boy so this boy now now is you now have the name to be this and you have the maybe gender of course the boy will definitely be a man i mean this is this is an object this is an object but now when you want to convert this to json you will then have it as something like this boy everything will be in a quote like even this will be in, a, be in an inverted comma so this will be in a quote everything will be simplified so from the beginning to the very end it will all be in a code so this is this is objects and this is json so it's just like stringifying it like see json as turning an object of course you now know that object is a, is a combination of key value pair so see json as like a way of turning an object to a string as simple as that. i don't want to complicate you but the simple thing that you know is just that json means that you turn an object to string so that is the meaning of json turn objects to string now let us see something in action if you come back to your page to your tonkibo application you realize the fact that of course you are still going to use this function but let us go ahead to now say create another function Create another function to say get json like when i say get json means that i'll get the object and i'll not turn it to a string just it as simple as that so i'll say get json javascript orientation and i am going to be then say then i'll say let me let me define any variable to let me define a variable for the JSON too. Like we always store the JSON file I'm getting. So at the top I'll say declare an app variable and the name is others JSON. That means the stringified version or the the, of course, the others will return an object, but now that object in a string fashion like turning into a string or turning into a character whichever one you are more familiar with so for this json or the json i am going to be don't forget that it's a string so i'm going to be initializing that an empty string this one is an array we initialize that an empty list or oh, sorry this one is a list we initialize that an empty list but this one is a string let us initialize it give it an initial value of an empty string so let's put that here so now that we have been able to do that we will then go ahead to say that set this variable order json set set or set variable order json and now don't forget how we have been getting our object let us get it again so let's say get property objects get property now don't forget that we are getting 
it from Bluebush users, which we actually store in our cloud. Look at our, look at our database from users, you get the property user ID, from the user ID, you get the orders, you get the points. So now that we have been able to do that from this my cloud variable users, which is what I have in my database, I want to get the property user ID of the currently logged in user which is also currently stored now from these two from these two and I want to get so I can remove this now from our build up I think we have we, need, we have to do this before so whatever I get here I attach it here and when I get this first one it will take me to this point it will take me to this point and from here I need a key of orders so that I can get this list so I would then say that from this then get a property get the property I'll take test and get the property orders orders now let us fix it here so after which once you are able to get this then you can then return I'll say Okay, supposed to pick with return to so let me right click if you can give me with return all right so let me pick another function the one that has return so i'll call it get json call it get json i'll print this one here okay, get json 2 bring it to the top i'll delete this so that i can be able to call it get json 1 this on one and yes yes so i'll return the variable i'll return the variable order json so now that i've returned it let us now see it in action let us see it in action i want us to do something i want us to come to our design so that we can see actually visualize whatever we are getting at every point in time so let us come to our design come to your design tab and inside this design tab i want us to create a label just to visualize whatever we are getting visualize your label let me just call it label visualize Yo. Let me see visualize with it. And initially I'll make it to be empty. And I'll also make it to the font size to be small so that I can be able to see everything I'm getting all at once. But it might not still be enough, but it's fine, I think. To give us a rough idea of what we are, what we are getting from our database. So now that I have that. I will now come to blocks. So I'll come when the screen open. Of course, initially the list is empty because I've now actually populated this list. So I will visualize this JSON, this get JSON, what I'm getting here. I visualize it before testing the if. Because if I check here, it will just tell me. Of course, I can also write it here too because initially it is empty. Okay, let me just write it here. So I then see that this set label visualize my data. I put it and I'll say set the set the value to to this function of get JSON. Let me see what I'm getting from get get JSON. Don't forget because it has return value, that's why I can plug it in. So whatever it's return, it will set it as visualize your data. So let me now go ahead to preview. To preview, and now because I've logged out, it's, it's taken me to the login page, which means our, our app is actually working fine. So I'll log in. Pass. Password, I'll put the password, 
and now I'll just come straight to my other speech. Currently, we do not have anything on the page. Let us check our blocks. Okay, I'll just back to editing. Users. Now, let's look at it. Do you see the issue here? Is that actually we are getting an object here? but it will not it was not displayed on our screen because it's an object you only get a, a string to display on your screen if you want it to display at all so that's why here we are getting an object but we said we want to turn that object to a string so that we can get it on our page and in order for you to get to turn an object to a string just come to objects and you see something that says generate json from objects meaning that Turn this object, turn it to a screen. So I'll come here, now see generate JSON from object, and I'll fix this object in here. So if I go ahead to preview now, I should definitely have something on my screen. So let me just come to the dashboard. In dashboard, I come to my others page, and now I am still not having anything on the screen so let's go back to editing as the check all right at this point i think we should just go the, the route we wanted to go the other time where we don't want to even check this if yet because we have naturally declared the list so I'll clean up so i'll pick this i'll set it even before the list all right so if i of course it will not check this list because i've not actually set it at all so i'll preview it let me just go back and now if you click on my orders you see that you see that you have a list of orders it's very small let me just zoom in now what's something here this is a string this is an a json now you see that even the key it has stringify the key which is supposed to be a number and all the values you can see that this is stringify this is what we call json this is stringified and the value to stringify this is stringified that's turned into a string the value everything is that's turned into a string but what i just want you to pay attention to is this is the first order this is the first order which is the id and the details and this is the second order the id and the details so that is what we are going to be working with now so now you have you now know that we are able to get the list of our orders as a json so it is that json that we will now use to actually get our id and that is what we use to list that order